You guys keep asking what gear I use and uh, there's quite a few pieces but um, well here's the main stuff and a little bit about um, kind of the editing process and how that all works. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. You guys are requesting this video for at least six months, if not a year, so I thought I'd finally do it. This is the gear I use to film these videos. Now, I use a Canon 100D, which is a rather compact DSLR. Um, I actually, it has a dedicated uh, film mode, which is awesome and allows me to go manual so I can change things like aperture, uh, shutter speed, and ISO very, very easily, uh, which is lovely. I actually generally use the kit lens for most things. That's the 18 to 55 mil, um, kind of just standard kit lens. and. Uh, uh, yeah, um, I actually also have a 50mm Prime f1.8 lens, which I use for the bits that I film my face, just because my room is pretty dark. Um, to help illuminate the products and uh, me, I use just these kind of relatively cheap um, LED light panels. They are kind of, I uh, think, like 20 or something, 28 or, or, or more LEDs. Um, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's definitely more than that, but um, anyway, they're powered by uh, AA batteries, has a kind of uh, Kochi mount as well as a, uh, it's a, a tripod uh, jack on there thread on the bottom so you can screw it into tripod if you so desired but the mics are the things that are the newest at the moment um, as I currently use uh, or at least for the on camera stuff and for the you know kind of traipsing around behind the camera stuff I use a Rode Link uh, filmmaker kit which basically comes with a uh, kind of transmitter and receiver module so the receiver um, has USB power has a threaded um, kind of jack to plug into the camera um, it's awesome it has a kind of coach mount again but you can remove that to make it a belt clip uh, the transmitter is the same um, has a threaded uh, kind of three and a quarter inch jack as well as a power button this one only has a belt clip uh, you can change the decibel level for the kind of output uh, you can up it on the transmitter and drop it on the receiver uh, it comes with a really nice lav mic as well and uh, yeah the slider I use which is one of the reasons why some of the shots I do are pretty awesome is, uh, is this slider. It's pretty cheap, I got it off Amazon. It's a newer brand one, so fairly OEM. And uh, yeah, it does the job. It's got a ball head, a ball tripod head, um, for kind of ease of just moving things around. Um, but you can actually attach it to the tripod, which is what I generally do, as opposed to kind of on this on-table version. But um, yeah, that's the, the slider I use. The tripod is actually pretty awesome. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. Um, the legs are the Manfrotto 190, series um, and the head is the MVH uh, M MVH 500AH um, that's a fluid head and it's really awesome it, it's, it basically means that um, there's fluid inside the sort of joints so that you can do these ridiculously smooth and ridiculously awesome panning and tilting shots um, you can increase the resistance slightly so if you want to make it more difficult and you know slow the pan down that you can do that um, you can even lock it in place so that when you you know just want to do a sort of sideways pan for example you can do that quite easily one of the really cool things about the legs is that you can set it uh, so that the uh, tripod will actually hang over um, one way or at least the head will hang over the side one way so that you can get kind of over the top of things shots which is really nice and um, if you want to hang over something that's that's pretty cool that's generally how I do the shots of the motherboards um, or at least the stuff that comes in the motherboard boxes um, but definitely the most cool thing and the one that I occasionally utilize especially in a kind of tight space pinch is uh, is this it basically means that I can extend the legs as far and as kind of high as I like they pretty much go to a 90 degree angle from where the, the sort of head sits and uh, yes even sitting on a door handle and two different kitchen surfaces this is still pr plenty smooth for doing some awesome shots so uh, yeah that's pretty cool. Now the mic I'm using to record this is the Zoom H1. I also have a Logitech G700S and a Razer Black Widow um, for uh, kind of editing stuff. I currently use a i7 4790K, um, 16 gigs of RAM and a Zotac 9AC to kind of edit with, um, as well as a couple of SSDs and NAS for storage. I use Premiere Pro to edit with and After Effects for kind of all of the cool shots. Um, and generally speaking, the workflow is uh, well, fairly basic, I generally just film what I need to film, I'll kind of piece it together, I'll film the last bit, uh, voice it over, put the music in, add the after effects, uh, which is stuff like this, I generally just opacity keyframes or, you know, uh, m masking position, stuff like that. Uh, 
And yeah, that's that's kind of the, the gear I use really. Um, there's not really too much else if you have any questions, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Sometimes I do throw in footage from my phone. Um, but uh, I thought I'd give you an idea of kind of the, the general process of making a video. So um, that's kind of coming up uh, around about now. So that's pretty much the kit I use. Now the, the kind of process that I go through with editing uh, or kind of creating videos, um, if I receive a product, I generally um, kind of the day of, day after, that kind of, uh, within a couple of days, I'll generally take it out and use it. Um, whether that be, if it's a monitor, I'll generally take it out and just film it and test it and then put it back in the box and not touch it again. Um, if it's something like a keyboard, I'll take it out and test it for a week or two before I then film it um, and edit it together. Um, if it's you know graphics cards and stuff then that's generally something that I put in the system, test it, benchmark it, film it and then take it out of the system, film it some more and then put it back in the box and forget about it. Um, so it varies between products but generally speaking uh, I'll get it, film it, um, do some testing of sorts. I'll then uh, either come up uh, and edit the video, the footage I have together and then film this part with my face or I'll um, kind of uh, film this part, then edit all together. Ed uh, filming then editing is generally easier for me, but at the same time, um, it can just be easier for me to start editing because you know it's too dark outside or anything like that, uh, just to kind of adhere to the process. But um, yeah, once I've um, kind of put the clips together, I'll generally add the After Effects kind of uh, effects in, things like the text that pop up and um, random things that float around. Um, that sort of stuff and then I'll add the awards in uh, and then once that's done I'll put the music in um, sort the audio out in general and then export it at about four it's at 3840 by 2160 or UHD or 4k depending on who you ask um, at about 30 megabit per second bit, uh, bit rate uh, which considering YouTube if you're watching uh, footage or you know videos at 1080p generally only displays at like I think it's 5 to 10 uh, megabits per second so that's a pretty big cut considering my camera is recording at around about 30 as well so uh, yeah if you watch it in 4k you still get 1080p you know kind of pixels but you get better quality in terms of the bit rate so that's kind of why I do that um, and also just general looks cool that you can say uh, hey this is a 4k video uh, but yeah so that's kind of the, the general gist of video production um, it's really not all that complicated it just takes a lot of uh, practice and time and uh, every time I try and you know take a, a shot with the camera it will generally take two or three sh uh, kind of takes before I actually get it right if not more especially when using the slider because it's very manual um, so all the, the all the sort of slides you see that's probably the fifth the fifth attempt at least and that's just the only reason I went for that one is because I probably gave up after that or my finger started bleeding from using it as a stopper um, so yeah that's pretty much it I mean if you enjoyed the video, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. If you did or didn't, feel free to click the like or dislike that button and subscribe if you haven't already. This is kind of a subscriber video, especially since um, people have been asking for it for a while. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. hope it was somewhat useful. If you've got any questions, as I said, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Check out Facebook and Twitter for more updates on videos and all that sort of stuff. Um, and actually, I had an interesting question uh, I'd like to ask. This sort of video is the one, is the sort of video that if I were to ever do a kind of Patreon or, or something like that, this kind of video would be the ones that I wouldn't necessarily, that the, this kind of video would be the sort of one I would, you know, kind of put for patrons, you know, for people who are the sort of supporters of the channel. Because it's not necessarily something that you desperately need to know, it's not like a product review where um, it's in both my and your best interest to watch it, but it's still an interesting video and something that I feel can, you know, add value to people at, at some degree. Um, but I want to ask, if I were to ever, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm going to, I'm not saying that it's, you know, in the works, I'm not saying I'm even considering it, I just, I would like to know your opinion. Um, if, uh, if I were to ever do it, would that be something you would consider supporting? What are your thoughts on it? I would really like to know. Um, and feel free to leave those in the comments down below or on Twitter and Facebook as well. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you all in the next one.